I had a little girl in my class who shared with me some very disturbing details about what was happening to her at home. One day in class, uh, uh, my student was on the carpet pulling another child between her legs. Um, I stopped her and asked her what was going on. She started crying immediately. So I pulled her over to the side to ask her, what was she trying to do? And she said that she was trying to get her to tickle her. And I didn't understand what that meant. So I took her in a teacher's lounge and I asked her, where did she get that from? She said that her dad um, was tickling her. And I asked her, what did he tickle her with? She said that he tickled her with his mouth, his cuckoo, um, his hands, and a belt. I asked her what was his cuckoo. She pointed between her legs. Um, I asked her what did he do with the belt and she shoved her hands between her legs in a, in a manner that would have hurt me. I also asked her well where was your mom? You know does your mom know? And she said um, I told my mom and my mom said that um, it's gonna be okay. She said, and I told my mom that tastes nasty. Now this is a pre-kindergarten student, so there's no way she could have this language. There's no way she could know these words to, to use. She actually used the word, she said, tastes nasty. And my mom told me that it's not that bad. And this little girl was sitting talking to me like a woman saying that he want to do it all the time, all the time, all the time, punching into her hand as if she was an adult going through, you know, an adult issue, this little girl. One time she said her mom was sitting on the bed and her dad kissed the mom and then kissed her. She says, so I asked him, could we just kiss? As a teacher, um, and a mother, I was horrified, you know, that this child was saying that she was in a situation where her mother knew and her father was doing this to her. What I don't think people understand is that as an educator, I am a mandated reporter. It's not my job to investigate the matter. Um, I do not have to know for certain. After 12 years of teaching, I've only made two reports. And so what I don't think she understands is that even suspecting that there is abuse as a mandated reporter, it's my job to report that. So now after all this, Tashina and the father is saying that I coached this little girl into saying that she was being abused? That's absurd to me. I gave the information to the authorities for them to investigate what was happening. The authorities took this child away because after the investigation, they suspected or concluded that this child was indeed being abused. Only thing I did was report it what I knew. After um, I was trying to protect this little girl, I am getting all of this backlash on Facebook, which is wild to me that people just assume that a teacher that has been teaching for 12 years for what reason would make this call and say that a child was being abused for what reason I have no personal relationship with Tashina I do not know the father what reason would I want to get this innocent little girl taken away from her mother by making up a lie if the mom and dad feel like they want to come here and uh, whatever it is that they have to prove coming onto this show, because if there is a chance that the little girl could have made something like this up, which I highly doubt, then I came to, to prove that. So, yeah, I'm gonna let you have a chance to talk, but you know, I watch this tape Okay, and I watch a woman who's a, uh, who was a teacher for 12 years who uh, was teaching your daughter. This teacher is, tells in great detail, not vague, uh, not obscure, it's just really detailed information that your daughter is saying things as, as a, a young child that 
it almost has to be real. This in teacher my mind. is a liar. Okay, so my point is, she never hung out with you? I don't know this woman. We work from the same employer. Right. I don't she know her. Know you. She don't know me, and Why? I don't know her. What? We I... came into seeing each other every day as I took my child to school. And all this, you knew about it, I talked to you. That woman never talked to me and told me anything about this. But why would she make this up? Why? And that's something I want to know as well, because my child is telling me she's questioning me. The teacher was questioning me, mommy. The teacher was questioning me. And that's why I can't, I called the show. Now, your daughter later changed her story to the authorities, and they suspected that you coached her to do this. So, from the time when CPS first came to the hospital, my child wasn't aware of what was said, and they spoke to me and her in two different rooms. So then they goes to tell me, well, I got the report, and I see everything that was said in the report, how she loved her family, she loved her mommy. Okay, it's not unusual for a child to be abused by a father and still don't want the police to take her father away. I you understand, do understand but this, this okay, is I'm a not, different case. I'm not saying that's the case, but so I, I you know, because I have first-hand knowledge of it. So now, you didn't know, in your own eyes, in your own being around the child... I never seen anything. You never saw it down now, I never abused. seen anything. You never seen anything you said, oh, that's kind of hinky. No, uh, that was never... What are you doing, Donnell? Anything like that with us. It was did never your, none of that. Did your daughter ever come to you and say, Mom, Dad's doing this? No. Never. You told us the story. She gets removed from your care, Donnell's care. Donnell is not supposed to uh And he didn't have any contact. You are allowed to. She's placed with uh, a relative. Um, but then she's taken out of that and placed in the foster care. And the reason she was taken out of that, because they said they felt that she was unsafe because they felt like she was coached by the family member. They were afraid, even though that the, your daughter was in a family member's house, Donnell could possibly have access to her. Mm -hmm. Honey, I felt bad for you, but you now see me. I really believe you see your me child is in a better place I did. How? Christina, I How want do you, you believe to look this? me in my eyes. I'm looking you in your eyes. Me, look me in my eyes. I don't have a reason to lie. I called me, this show. Did I ever I not called this tell show. you that I suspected? You never. Oh, wow. And you know you never did. Okay, well, I that's have why paperwork. I know that I have this is paperwork. A, this, this is a ex this why is Why are you lying? This is how so I can you please tell act, me? So when did you tell me this? Can you please tell me when you, you told me this, Latoya? For the no, you can perform. Because when did you okay. tell me this, Latoya? When did you tell me this? Okay. So you told me this at parents' teacher conference. Almost every time at the door. When? Let me. Let me. Okay. Are you serious? Hello, Steve. By the way. What do you mean performing? And I want to thank you for coming today because in your situation, taking so much in me not to do. What do you mean? I don't know if a lot of people would come here. And be, because in your position, you got nothing to gain. Are you really sitting here yes, lying? Uh, right. But yeah. I thank you for coming. Yes. Well, on the social media, what are they saying about you? They're inboxing me, telling me, Who is you they? know, um, these crazies, you know, are inboxing me saying that I need to uh, go to hell, that karma is going to get me, that, um, uh, you know, um, I should be ashamed. I'm a horrible person. And I'm wondering, you know, who thinks that way? Who thinks that some teacher just wants to take a baby from their mother? Uh, you're a preschool teacher, right? Yes. Uh, so you teach very young kids. Yes. And how long have you been doing that job? Twelve years. And in those twelve years, this you, you stayed in tape. This is only the second time that the you reported. The second time. Because I feel like children should be at home with their parents. You know, no matter the situation. Why? But this situation here, I really believe that not being in that situation is best for her. Okay. As soon as I met the child, I assumed that something was going on with Why her. Why is that? She was displaying very disturbing behaviors, always pulling children on top of her, which I shared with Mr. When? Sheena. She act completely aloof. You know what? One time I told her, I told Miss Sheena, you know, your child, someone, your child was pulling people on so top you told of me her. This. You know, where did you she... You told me this. You want to hear this? Because this is about your baby. Yeah, because when mm -hmm. did you tell so, me? That's what I want to know. Because you're sitting out here lying okay. on TV. Okay, so, And you know you never had no conversation with okay. me about this. So, so why are you lying? I told lying? you... Why are you lying, Latoya? This child, why are you lying? your baby was pulling you never someone told me on that. top of her. You never yeah. told me Your child was pulling someone on top of her. I'm really concerned because, you know, where would she get this behavior? And she said, well, she plays with her dad. 
Now, I wanted her to hear what she said. So I just let her, you know, instead of cutting her off and interrupting her, speaking for her, I just let her walk through that because I wanted her to hear herself. I thought maybe I was helping her to understand what was really going on. But when she tried to cover up her words, and I knew she knew what was going on. She said, yeah, she getting it from her dad. You're a liar. You're a psychopathic liar, and you need to stop lying, and you need to tell the truth. You need to come clean before you before they, they get your polygraph, and they, they, they already know you're a liar. You need to go ahead and come clean now. Slow down. You're a liar. You you're a psychopathic your liar, and you're sick in the mind for even making up them, them false allegations like you did. And you need to be dealt with. You need to go to jail for what you did. You took you see a lot of saying? I'm a good man, Steve. I oh. take care of my family. Okay. You, you see took, what I'm saying? You took yes, a lot I did. Of yes, sir. I paid Ooh. $500 okay. and Steve. I passed it. Okay. When, uh, when you're in that court hearing last December and they're terminating your right to your child, what did, what did they say to you? They said, yeah, they terminated my rights on accountability of what this woman said. They said that was enough to get my rights to terminate. They said just because she just said Just because it, she made that... They're that, taking your child away. They're taking my now, child away. Now, here's what the other unusual part of this is. Well, this, I don't care what, what's unusual to you, Steve. I'm, I'm here to clear my, my, my name, Steve. Okay. You well, know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm telling not, you my experience. Okay, I, don't, I didn't come here for that. I came here to get help so we can get my daughter well, back. Well, you do That's understand it's my for. show, right? Okay, well... <laughs> You came here, you took a lie detector test, and we asked you, did you coach Tashina's daughter to accuse her father of sexually molesting her? You answered no. Did you coach Tashina's daughter to say her mother knew about the alleged sexual abuse? You answered no. Did you fabricate any part of the sexual abuse allegations Tashina's daughter made? You answered no. The results came back the same to each one of those three questions, and it came back that LaToya told the truth. I can tell the truth! I can tell the truth! I know. Took a lie detector test. You came here, took a lie detector test, and we asked you, did you ever sexually assault your daughter with an object for your own sexual gratification? You answered no. Did you ever <laughs> to your daughter? You answered no. Have you ever used your mouth on your daughter for your own sexual gratification? You answer no, and the result for Donnell's lie detector test, the results came back the same to each three of those questions, and it came back that Donnell did not tell the truth. <laughs> Before I read the moms, you don't have to a rocket scientist to put two and two together here. Yeah. This woman here, you... <laughs> but she did come here. She took a lie detector test. And we asked her, did your daughter ever come to you and describe in detail a sex act done to her by her father? She answered no. Any knowledge of your daughter being sexually molested? She answered no. Have you ever witnessed anyone sexually molesting your daughter? She answered no. Results came back the same, all the same to those three questions, and it came back that Tashina did not tell the truth. <laughs> I picked that on everything. I bet you don't. You can't have behind this show. You don't do what you deserve. And I got your kids too. Get the out of here. And you know, people investigate these crimes all the time. Mm -hmm. Just because of what you said, they didn't do this. It's not all on you. You were the initial little probe that started it, but it certainly wasn't like you deciding. And again. What they're saying is so crazy. You conspired with the legal system, the authorities, the police, the doctors, the court. Uh, oh, and the Steve Wilco show. And, you know, over the past couple of years, I know we did, uh, you know, Steve's Hero of the Year or whatever. And if we do that again, you're definitely nominated. I'm sure you are. Uh, uh, 
I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too.